Hi, I'm McGuire, and this is Miss Hawkins, and we're going to interview her on uh, the recent school closure. Um, so, Ms. Hawkins, describe some of the challenges and blessings you have experienced with online learning so far. Okay, um, so some of the challenges I think I've experienced with online learning um, is just not being able to see the students every day. I mean, you guys are the, the best part of the job, the, my most fun part of the job, and so um, just not being able to see you guys every day, interact with you every day, I feel like is a real challenge. Um, some of the blessings um, with online learning, I think um, I one of the things I do like is the little bit of flexibility that we have. Um, I can run over to the kitchen and grab another cup of coffee. And, um, you know, it's not quite as structured as a high school day, which can can feel a little nice sometimes. But yeah. All right, um, what are some things that keep you busy while not grading or teaching during the school closure? When I'm not grading or teaching during the school closure, I've been uh, trying to run a little more. I had kind of gotten away from running, and so I've been getting back into running. Um, I've been walking our dog a ton. He's exhausted all the time, which is great. Um, and. I feel like I've been cooking a lot of food. I have four boys at home and they're eating a crazy amount because they're <laughs> home all day too. Um, so lots of cooking, lots of unloading the dishwasher and loading it back up. And um, we've been playing a ton of Uno as a family. Uno. And um, yeah, Uno. We hadn't played in years and we're kind of back to Uno. Um, I've yet to win a game, but maybe someday. <laughs> Maybe someday. Um, so what would you say your kid's favorite meal is during this quarantine? My kid's favorite meal? So we bought an air fryer and they've been going through like a bag of popcorn chicken a day. As many of us have experienced while staying at home, it is hard to stay on task. Do you have any tips or tricks to keep on task and busy during this time? Oh, tips or tricks to keep on task. Um, yeah, for sure. It is so hard. I think, you know, I think you have to make a schedule and you have to figure out a way that you'll be accountable for that, whether that is something you just kind of do on your own or whether you let someone else know, hey, I'm going to get these things done today and you have them kind of keep you accountable. Um, but you have to come up with a schedule for what you want to accomplish each day. And, you know, now that we have kind of set class periods, it's a little bit broken down for you. And if you can go through and plan your week and plan to join your classes with your teachers, plan to get your periods one, two, three done on Monday, four or five on Tuesday and so on, that can go a long way in helping you stay on track. Um, but it is, yeah, it's definitely really hard because we feel like we have all this time. With this week being Teacher Appreciation Week, we wanted to send a thank you out to all of our teachers, not only for all that they do for the school and for us students, but especially with these difficult times, doing virtual classes and continuing to teach us the materials that we need to know to graduate and get through our high school education. Thank you, teachers. Ben Campbell, an MIT math whiz, not that bad looking, but overall a great student. You could say he's pretty good with numbers. I'm pretty good with numbers. That's what I said, Ben. That's what I said. He's accepted into Harvard Medical School, but the price is quite steep. $300,000 for school? Where am I going to get that kind of money? Oh, I'll tell you, Ben. And it's not by joining math club. So is this some kind of a math club? No, this is not a math club. This is a team organized to exploit the game of blackjack to make you lots and lots of money. Are you talking about counting cards? Yes, I am. Money making business. What's count? Plus nine. Plus five. Plus 13. Dude, I lost count 20 cards ago. Don't call me dude. Oh yeah, Kevin Spacey's in this one.
Everything seems to be going great for our boy Ben, but there's trouble. Lots of trouble. Whoa! There it is! I won't get into it now, but I will say to go check out 21 on Netflix. It's a very interesting film, and anyone that has a little bit of love of card games will enjoy this movie. Thanks for tuning in to Movie Review. <laughs>